Welcome aboard and welcome back on uh, Watch Advisor and YouTube. It's me, Alexander, speaking, your host. You will not see me, but my hands and the superstars of the video, uh, the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 57 Capsule Collection. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Um, inspired by the Super Ocean from 1957, Breitling is relaunching this iconic watch and bringing it back in a very lifestyle way uh, in different editions. Unfortunately, and this is, uh, I will mention it uh, right away, I did not get the uh, limited edition, limited to 250 pieces. Uh, uh, rainbow edition with that uh, colorful dial. Uh, I was not able to get one, but nevertheless, uh, I'm happy to have the other versions here. Um, the one with the black dial in steel and gold, the one in steel uh, with the blue dial and the black dial in steel. I will take away these and show you the blue one in detail. In size, of course, 42 millimeters today, 9.99 millimeters uh, is the height of the case. So it's quite a thin watch, easy to wear, and the famous lug to lug distance, lug to lug distance is 46 millimeters, 46 millimeters. So we have a diameter of 42, a height of 9.9, .9, and lug to lug 46. Uh, the watch, this is interesting, we have to show this. Can you see that? When I'm turning the watch in the camera, yes, we see it. Yes, there we go. You can see that the basal literally is protecting um, the sapphire glass and the basal looks like an amphitheater, meaning it is domed like this, yes, like this. And uh, when you look on the watch, it's uh, big. The bezel is big. It turns in both sides, counterclockwise and clockwise. And um, so it's not to be used as a diver or a diving watch. This is also um, not really recommended because the watch, the watch is only, well, only, it is waterproof up, up to 100 meters, far enough uh, for everything you want to do, um, but not waterproof enough to go diving with it. And anyhow, since the basal is also moving clockwise and not only counterclockwise, it's not recommended to use the watch as a diver. But interesting enough, the shape of the basal is uh, really protecting the sapphire glass. So let me show you the case button. I quickly have to polish because when you once touch one of these polished surfaces, then you will have some fingerprints on and I just wiped them away in the fingerprints. There you see it's B, it is written Super Ocean 57 Heritage. It's a capsule collection. Capsule collection means at Breitling that the watches of a capsule collection are only manufactured in a certain amount for a certain time. Um, and uh, the, uh, these watches uh, you see here on the picture, the steel and gold one, uh, gold is the basal, is in gold, you see. There we go, we now see it, yes. And you also can see that the hands are in gold. The Breitling B is in gold, so several gold applications are done on the watch, including the basal here on the side is in rose gold. Compared to the non-gold version, I take the black dial and you can see the difference. Uh, you will easily see the difference of the two watches. There we go. Gold and not gold. Um, same applies here, the basal is rotating in both senses, 
as I said. And what I wanted to uh, mention first, capsule collection means that the watch is limited uh, for uh, to be manufactured uh, for a certain period and for a certain quantity. The rainbow version would have been the one with the colorful indexes and colorful hands. Um, I did not get one for this uh, hands-on review, uh, unfortunately, but I'm happy enough to have those. Um, the movement used by Breitling is what they call the Calibre 10. That's an ETA 2892 automatic movement. Uh, COSC certified as all the Breitling movements are these days. And um, so all the entire uh, movement production of Breitling is COSC certified. So there you go. Now, the big interesting thing is that one, you can either get it with a folding clasp. Yeah. Or with a normal pin buckle. There you go. So now let me put the blue one quickly on my wrist and show you a wrist shot. This is how the watch looks on my wrist. 17 centimeter wrist I do have. So I uh, so not a big wrist, but not a small one, and the watch looks good. Um, when you look at it from the top. Uh, the one thing you immediately recognize is the huge bezel, but um, you adopt or you get used to that look pretty quickly. And then the first moment might be a little bit um, disturbing because it's so big, but uh, once you um, recognize or your eyes get used to that, um, you, you really feel that complete, that you really see that this is an entire a design that is not bad at all, I have to say. So, nice vintage inspired leather strap with pin or folding buckle, as I told you. And uh, as an additional, um, as an addition, you can get NATO straps. Um, they are called e Eco Null and in different colors. Um, they can be bought as uh, and separately, limited edition, limited, uh, limited editions, two uh, NATO straps can be bought for the watch separately. Yes, very nice also. A little bit more luxurious maybe than the simple steel one. Good looking, 42 millimeters. Not a height of the movement uh, of the case is 9.99 millimeters almost 10 millimeters, so it's quite a thin watch, not bulky at all, looks elegant, sporty. Um, I would say could be one of the summer watches 2020 or 2021. Um, yes, once again, the engraving, 57, oh, 50, I have to polish, excuse me. I have to polish it because once you touch those watches, yeah, now, there we go, 57, Super Ocean 57. And we also um, took one of the watches and filmed it at night so you can see how it glows. There you are, so you can see, quite bright. Um, Super Luminova applied to on the dial, on the hands, on the indexes, and it's really glowing and giving you a nice look in dark. Very nice. There you go. And there we are back <laughs> uh, in the day, the blue dial. My favorite one, as always. When there is a blue one, I always tend to say this is my favorite one. Voila. So, um, thank you very much. I will put them back here. One, two, and three. There we go. Thank you very much for watching this little hands-on video on the Super Ocean 57 collection of Breitling um, 2020. It's a capsule collection, as we mentioned, limited in time and production. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave your comments, ask me uh, questions if you do have some left. And uh, of course, be sure also to watch all our other videos we are 
uh, offering you hands-on videos of the new Breitling Watches 2020.